She is known for her versatile talent in acting, singing, and comedy, with notable roles in the television series SCTV and Great News. She is recognized for her impressive filmography, including appearances in Black Christmas, Wag the Dog, and My Big Fat Greek Wedding. Her name is Andrea Martin. In the world of entertainment, one name stands out for her immense talent and versatility, Andrea Louise Martin. This American-Canadian actress, singer, and comedian has made a lasting impact in both television and film. Best known for her work in the television series SCTV and Great News, Martin has also graced the silver screen in films like Black Christmas, Wag the Dog, and My Big Fat Greek Wedding. But Martin's talents extend beyond the screen. She has also made a significant mark in the world of theater. With Tony Awards under her belt for performances in My Favorite Year and the 2013 revival of Pippin, Martin has proven her prowess on the Broadway stage. She has appeared in acclaimed productions such as Candide, Oklahoma, and Fiddler on the Roof. In fact, Martin holds the record for the most nominations for the Tony Award for Best Featured Actress in a Musical, with an impressive five nominations to her name. Not only has Martin achieved great success in her career, but she has also left a lasting impact on the industry. Her comedic timing and ability to bring characters to life have made her a beloved figure in the entertainment world. Whether it's through her unforgettable roles in films or her captivating performances on stage, Andrea Louise Martin has undoubtedly made her mark and will be remembered as a true talent for years to come. Andrea Martin, born on January 15, 1947, in Portland, Maine, was the eldest of three children. Her family had a rich history of immigration and hard work. Her paternal grandparents had escaped the Armenian Genocide and her maternal grandmother had immigrated to the U.S. at a young age. In their pursuit of assimilation, Andrea's grandfather changed the family name from Papazian to Martin. Growing up, Andrea didn't fully connect with her ancestral identity, but that would change later in life. At a young age, Andrea's mother broke her leg, leading to a special bond between mother and daughter as they spent time together. They would take turns reading Shakespeare, Paul Revere's Ride, and Edgar Allan Poe's The Raven. This early exposure to literature sparked Andrea's love for storytelling. She also began playing the piano and showcased her talent by reciting a poem at the Portland Art Museum. Her passion for the arts continued to grow. As she entered her school years, Andrea transferred from Nathan Clifford School to St. Joseph's Academy before eventually graduating from Deering High School in 1965. Throughout her high school years, Andrea's involvement in the dramatic club allowed her to showcase her talent for acting. Her dedication and skill led her to win the title of Miss Deering High in 1965, solidifying her place in the world of performance. Andrea's upbringing and early experiences set the foundation for her future career as an actor. The stories she read with her mother and the performances she participated in during high school ignited a passion within her that would shape her life. Although she didn't fully embrace her ancestral identity at the time, her journey would eventually lead her to explore and celebrate her heritage in a profound way. Do you want to explore more actors? Who do you want to see featured next? Subscribe and leave a comment below to let me know. I'll see you in the next video.